Hello everybody, Michael here for Tactical Imperials with a Warhammer 40,000 battle report. Today it's going to be Orcs versus Harlequins. Kieran has finally got his Harlequins up to at least partly painted. Yeah, we're about a third of the way through. And so we're going to bring them out on the tabletop today. Today we're playing Emperor's Will uh, with one objective each. Kieran's is there, mine is there, and it's a 1,000 point game. So on my side I've got 10 shooter boys in heavy armour, some other boys, I think it's 19 or 20 heavy armour, Pain Boy with Cyborg Body and a War Boss in Mega Armor with uh, Cobby Shooter Scorcher and a Cyborg Body and a Boss Pole. I accidentally paid them to have a Power Claw because I wasn't paying attention. Five Flash Gates in a truck, four War Bikers, Noble Power Claw, and five Burner Boys. Pretty simple list, really. And on this side. Okay, so we've got two Sky Weavers with their Shuriken Cannons and Zephyr Glaives. We've got a Void Weaver with the Prism Cannon. Six Harlequins, four Caresses, and the Troopmaster there is my ward with the Star Mist Raiment, which is only gives him a three up pinball when he runs. Right. We've got a Death Jester with nothing, and we've got seven Harlequins with four uh, Kisses, the Troopmaster has Shagarth Rose, and this one is proxying a Harlequin I've managed to lose that also has a Fusion Pistol. And we've got two more um, Sky Weavers, these ones have Zephyr Glaives and Haywire Cannons, and then we've got a Star Weaver with a Troop of Neuro Disruptor Harlequins in there. The Troop Leader has the um, Story Sword. Okay then. We've already rolled off and I will be taking first turn, which is probably a bad thing because I've deployed too far back. Um, so yeah, there we go. In terms of war traits, mine is Prophet of the War, so I get Fearless when I come along a war boss. And I've got a foot in the future, so these guys get plus one to almost all their forms of movement. Alright then. So, we'll come back at the end of Orcs, turn one. End of Orcs, turn one. Uh, Flash gets shot at the jet bikes, took a wound off. Uh, unfortunately, didn't roll very well on their AP, but they would have jinked either way. But I would prefer them to jink because then they... Well, they just activated the four of them ball. Oh, right. Well, they lost a wound, didn't do any more damage. Big shooter got two hits but failed to wound. Uh, everything else just moved up, everything else was out of range. So that's where we're at. Come back, end of Harlequins, turn one. Okay. Jet bike moves for jet bikes. End of Harlequins, turn one. Kieran's just got to make a couple jet bike moves and then we I've got ten. So, in recap, the truck died. Seven. And that was it. Took... Shots from the jet bikes and both the tanks, the Star Weaver and the Boy Weaver. Uh, and then these jet bikes shot the boys but did no damage. Death Jester shot the boys, did no damage. Got quite lucky with all my saves. These squads both ran. Is the, the whole squad get the 3-up involved or just him? Uh, just the troop leader. Just the troop leader gets the 3-up involved for the next turn. So that's that. We'll come back at the end of Orcs turn 2. End of Orcs turn 2. Bikers managed to shoot a whole point off of that. The Flash gets... Uh, Failed to do any damage because uh, they were snap firing. They were actually pinned by the destruction of the truck. Um, ben, Kieran passed his um, involve. Uh, the shooter on the war boss managed to kill one Harlequin from this squad. It's not enough to cause a morale check because there's six of them. And the shooters failed to damage in here. So yeah, not a very good turn for me. To be fair though, apart from killing a truck, I've not done much either. So yes, but now you're about to hit me very, very hard I in am. the face. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is going to probably be a bit orcs, but we'll see. So we'll come back to the end of Harlequins, turn two. Okay. End of Harlequin turn two. The bikers got absolutely melted, but the warlord squad charged into the warboss squad. Uh, they all died apart from the troop leader who hit and ran and is now all the way over there, the coward. Uh, over here, uh, they're dead. And no shooters died, no burners died. Two flash gets died and one more lost a wound and they went to ground to try and avoid that. Didn't actually make a difference. Um, but they're now snap firing next round. Those burners. And Kieran is now literally, <laughs> metaphorically wetting himself because there are burners stood right there. Not that they do any better than the rest of my guns. Just they they also hit though. Fair point. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we'll come back at the end of Orcs, turn three. End of Orcs, turn three. Ow. <laughs> Burner boys absolutely melted that squad over there. Got 14 hits. And the boys um, here, multi-assault. I shouldn't have discharged. Charge. Oh well, doesn't matter. Oops. <laughs> I launched a multi-assault into the bikes and the other guys. The pain boy managed to kill the uh, troop leader in a challenge uh, for a cost of a wound. Now I did kind of... We forgot that yeah, I lost... Yeah, we forgot the multi-assault. I so forgot the multi-assault charge really bonus five, loss but thing. I think there was enough overkill. Yeah, you did feel a little... I probably had one... Jet bike like, standing. No, up. the jet bikes would have gone because there was a lot of a lot of wounds on them. Mm. I think maybe you'd have kept one. I might two, have kept one. But you'd have had such a huge combat yeah, res that I'd have got you. I probably got away, but you know, yeah. I was a single model running, so it wouldn't matter. All right. Well, that was a small mistake on our part, but I don't think it makes much difference. So, with what's left, we're going to go into Harlequins turn three. And Harlequins turn three. Uh, oh, Death Jester, Death Jester, jet bikes, and troop leader slash warlord charged in. 
took it down to two boys and the war boss managed to kill the death jester in a challenge and the jet bites lost a wound and the troop leader lost a wound uh, the jet bites hit and run the troop leader was unable to be rolled a six bridge initiative test so we're gonna go now into orcs turn four Take the orcs out of my door to win this. End of orcs turn four. Uh, that died. Starweaver, is it? Uh, yes, Starweaver. Starweaver died. Flash gets wrecked it. Uh, no damage to the troop master. Couldn't roll to wound my war boss. He didn't make his involves though, to be fair. Well, he made his involves for everybody else because of uh, no other forces. Like, extra well, we've got things. to do a fear test again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it didn't hurt didn't him anyway. It, it didn't make a difference. Uh, he failed to do any damage as well and then hit and run out. So, this is actually going to get a little bit close. Okay. Going into Harlequin's turn four. Still didn't do a fear test. End of Harlequin's <laughs> turn four. So the boy squad and the pain boy are dead. Um, and the war boss is useless. Failed to wound twice now against the troop master. Nobody managed to hit and run away. Um, but there you go. That's where we're at. So, we're going to go into Orcs turn five. Yeah. End of Orcs turn 5. The troop leader is still not dead. <laughs> Warboss was one wound this time, past his invul. Burners tried to kill the Void Weaver, shot it with the flashes and the Burners. Did no damage because it puts four of invul on, Mirage launches. Then charged it, failed to do any damage there. So, um, yeah, I have a 33% chance of losing now because of the game ending. Okay. So, going to Harlequins, turn 5. <laughs> end of Harlequins, turn 5. Warboss is dead. No surprises there, really. These guys are AP2, shot two wounds off of them as well, just for good measure, because they rolled sixes to wound with their stroke and things. Other news, that failed to do any damage, failed to hit with any of its weapons, which is nice. Um, so, on a one or two, the game ends. That's the tape measure. And of course, the game ends. So, three points, three points. And then I have uh, First Blood and Warlord. Lord. So, five, three, five, three. Happens. It was a close again, the other one. Yes, the last time I played Harlequins, I got tabled. But to be honest, I should have absolutely mulled you in that yeah, game. Yeah, you should. Uh, from turn three, you this is all you've had in your army for three turns, yeah. and you've still won. Yeah. That is really disappointing. I am actually really annoyed right now with your three up in vol, because, well, run, get a three up in vol. Yeah, it's and 25 still points with the war gear. It's 25 points? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> this seems so bad now. And my war boss's inability to roll yeah, anything was, other than a upsetting. one. It was absolutely diabolical how bad his dice were. Like, forcing you to take involve, that's fine, but two rounds didn't even do any damage. <sighs> oh, oh well, never mind. You live and learn and you lose. Oh well, never mind. So, that is the end of today's 4K Battle Report. Uh, Harlequin victory, much to my annoyance. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Leave in the comments down below. My name is Michael for Tactic Imperials with Kieran, and we will see you all again.